Are you wondering exactly how people are making custom Instagram Reels cover photos? You know, like the ones that are branded, that have their brand colors, their brand fonts, and they only have a portion of the cover photo in the middle showing up when they push the reel to their feed. So their feed is still super, super cohesive. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in this video. The first step to doing this is to download my Instagram Reels cover photo template. This is what we're gonna be using in this tutorial to go off of to create a custom cover photo. So go to this link right here. It's stephaniecase.com slash cover. The link will be down in the description right below this video. So you can go ahead and go over there and download it. It comes in Canva and Photoshop files. I recommend using Canva, especially if you're not familiar with Photoshop or you just don't have the program. Canva is a completely free program that you can use to make these cover photos and it's super easy and I highly, highly recommend using that. So go ahead, download the cover photo and then loop back to this video and continue watching. Once you've hit download on that freebie, you should get an email in your inbox. Number one, you gotta confirm your subscription, but as soon as you do that, you're gonna get the freebie in your inbox. So I actually have it pulled up right here on my phone, and I'm gonna show you how I would edit a cover photo straight from my phone. So you don't even need to use your computer or anything like that to be able to edit this cover photo. But if you wanna pull Canva up on your computer, or pull Photoshop up on your computer, you totally can. You can totally do that, and that can be easier if you're creating like a bunch at once. But if you're just making one, having it up on your phone can be a really easy way to do that. And I'm gonna show you exactly how we do that here. You can also download the Canva app and edit this within the Canva app if you want to. So we have it pulled up. I have the email pulled up with the free download and I'm gonna go ahead and hit Canva templates. And we're gonna go ahead and let this open. And then as soon as this opens, so we're gonna tap use this template. And then it's going to basically create a copy of that template into your own Canva account. So you have to make sure you're logged in, completely free to join. A link will be in the description if you're not sure what Canva is and you need to sign up. But once you do this, whether it's on desktop or whether it's on your phone, you're able to come in here and now edit this however you want. But I just have a bunch of different templates on here that I've used for my different reels. And you can obviously make your own too and match it to your own brand and your own color. So this is where you're really able to edit as much as you want. So you literally just tap on it. So let's just go ahead and make an example right here. Let's say I'm doing one. I'm doing Instagram reels, tips and tricks. So we'll do tips and tricks down here. And again, you can change the fonts on this as much as you want at the bottom um, of your screen right here. You can scroll back and forth and change like what font it is. You can upload even your own branding fonts if they're not in here, which is super handy. You can also change the color to whatever you want. You can have your brand colors right in here, which is amazing. I'm not going to necessarily walk you through all of that just for the sake of this tutorial because I don't want it to take too long for you guys. But another thing to point out here is the red box in the middle of this template is actually what's going to show up on your Instagram feed if you toggle to share it to feed. So on the back end of posting an Instagram reel, if you have the little blue toggle on to share it to your Instagram feed, it should also pop up not only in the reel section of your profile, but it should also pop up on your Instagram feed. And so whatever is in that red box on here is what's going to show up on your feed, if that makes sense. So it helps you to just be able to still curate your feed a little bit more and have whatever photos you want to pop up, pop up onto your feed. So once you're done editing though, you're gonna to wanna to delete that red box, just as a side note. But for the sake of this, let's go ahead, I'm tapping on that photo below it, and we're gonna go ahead and replace it with a photo. I'm just gonna do a real quick picture of myself, and you can already see. So whatever's in that red box is what's gonna be on my feed. So if I want to, I can move this photo around um, with the crop tool. I'll go ahead and just do that real quick. So you can move this back and forth and kind of get an idea. So maybe I don't want my head to be cropped off and we're gonna go ahead and do that. Perfect, okay. And then once you have this how you want it, again, you can change literally anything about this template. You can change the colors, change the fonts, change the images. You can even change how it's set up. Maybe you don't like the way that this is designed. You can still use that red box just as kind of a guideline for what's actually gonna show up on your feed and create a cover photo template that's unique to you and that you love. And once you're done, you're basically just gonna save this to your phone. So we're gonna download it right here. We're just gonna do this first page. Oh, and I gotta make sure that red box is gone. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the red box first. Delete, and then we're going to download that first page. Okay, 
And so once this is done downloading, where I'm gonna show you how on the back end of like uploading an Instagram reel, how you're actually able to take this and to create, make it as your Instagram reel cover. Now we've switched over to the back end of Instagram reels. And this is just a random reel I had in my drafts. It's actually from my Disney trip, a little recap of it that I want to post. But this is where you would go when you are about to post your reels. This is the last page you see. And there's just a few things that I really wanna point out here. So to create a custom cover photo, you're going to tab right below where that cover is. There's a little line that says literally the word cover. You're just going to tap right on that word and it's gonna pull up this screen. From this screen, you're gonna tap at the very bottom of your screen, add from camera roll, and then you're gonna select that photo that we just created in Canva. And that's what's going to be your cover photo. So once you select it, you're gonna hit done, and then you've got your custom cover on here. And if you don't know already, the also share to feed option, if that is toggled on, if it is blue, that means that this reel is not only gonna show up in the reel section of your profile, it's also gonna show up in your main section of your Instagram profile with all of your other posts. Like we were saying before, whatever was in that red box when we were editing this cover photo is what's going to show up when you post it and also share it to your feed. If you want another hack for how to create Instagram Reels, I actually have another video on how to add a still photo into your Instagram Reels. So I'll put that right here if you want to go check it out. There's also more videos in the description, other Instagram Reels tutorials that I've made that you can go check out and binge watch if you are trying to figure out this whole Reels thing. And as always, hit subscribe, like this video, be because that really helps to support my channel, it helps more people like you to see this video and to get it out into the world. And I'm just so, so, so grateful for your support. And I can't wait to share more next time. I upload new videos every Tuesday and every Friday at noon Eastern Standard Time. Also, if you subscribe, I actually spend the first 20 minutes after I upload a new video responding to comments. So if you show up right when that video goes live at noon Eastern Standard Time on Tuesdays and Fridays, I will actually respond to your comments within in the first 20 minutes live and I would just love to chat with you guys and to hear from you guys. So I can't wait to share more next time and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.